Hi everyone, it's Mike from Creative Suite TV. Now, if you're an InDesign person, you're going to love this episode. It's a follow-on from another one we've done about interaction in InDesign, but this is advanced, so hold on to your hats. What we're actually going to do here is create an animated roll-down menu that triggers a uh, series of images or a slideshow, what we call a multi-state object from an animated drop-down menu. It's advanced, it's not for the faint-hearted. Hopefully you really get something out of and use this particular trick in InDesign CS5. Get excited, this is a fun one, everyone, but pay attention, it's difficult. Well, we're really gonna have to concentrate on this one to make sure that you get it right because it is a little bit tricky it involves buttons, it involves um, uh, multi-state objects and also animation in order for this to work. Now I've already started this project. Um, you can see I've already created some buttons here and I've already created a multi-state object. Now if you don't know how to do that, I've already recorded that as a tutorial on Creative Suite TV InDesign Interactive Galleries. It's number 89, it's on my blog there. Okay, so you need to do that first. Let's have a look at the multi-state object. You can see I've created a multi-state object here, and we'll zoom in to have a bit of a look. And it consists of this photo of sheep, this um, slide in the water, this rock, these sheep, and this photograph of Jack Davis, all stacked into one multi-state object, jobbed, done. Over on the left, I've created uh, some buttons. So let's have a look at the buttons, and I'll, I'll drag this over. I've got a select image button, which will be the top of the drop-down menu, and then I have a sheep button, a slide button, a rock button, a sheep hill button, and Jack Davis, okay? And they have been set up to go to various different states of the multi-state object, just like in the previous episode that I already showed you. Okay, if I press the preview button, okay, what will happen at the moment if I just resize this, I should be able to click on these. I've got rollover states for the button, and yes, of course, they will um, switch the multi state object. But how do we convert this into a pop down menu that will still work? So, step one, make the buttons and then make your initial image, okay? And you can give that a rollover state as well if you, if you like to. Uh, let's do it, we'll give it a rollover state. Um, uh, that, that one hasn't got one, but let, let's go ahead and give it a slightly darker. There we go, got the rollover state. Now, next step. We want the um, individual elements to roll down underneath that button, and we're going to animate them. Okay, so we'll start with the first one at the top here, and we'll go ahead and bring out the animation panel. Now you can choose any animation, they could fade up or whatever, but what I want them to do is slide down from the top. So um, I'm gonna name uh, this button, and I'll call it the sheep button, so it matches up with everything. Always a good idea to keep things named, because this can get complex. I'm just gonna choose one of the presets here, and I'll choose the preset, and we're gonna say, fly in from the top, okay? Now, it says on page load, and we don't want that, so I'm just gonna switch that off. So we've got no event at the moment. Okay, so it fly in from the top, play once, okay? We don't want it to play on page load, we want it to go to the current location, okay? And we're gonna leave fade in as well, okay? So there we go. And then visibility, we're also going to say hide until animated. All right, so it will not be visible until it's animated. Now, the next step, we're going to zoom in over here. You can see where it is rolling from is right at the top. Now, we don't necessarily want that. We want to go ahead and click on this green line. There we go there. And we need to shorten that to start from underneath the uh, top of the roll down panel. So we're going to use the uh, direct selection or pick up direct selection tool or the white pointer tool. And I'm going to drag that down and line that up with the center, and we can use the smart guides to do this, the center of the top button, which is the roll down button, trigger button. Let's call it the roll down trigger button. Very good. Now, 
We need to repeat this process for each of these buttons. So we need to animate them. So let's call this one. We'll do it again. So this, this will help you uh, figure this out. So we'll go slide. Okay. We have the preset again. Fly in from top. Select the green line. Go to the direct selection tool. Shorten it up. So just grab that little button there. Line it up with the center. Good. And we need to repeat this process. So let me just quickly go through and do and do that. Wow, that was quick. Okay, so we've done that. We've uh, got them all animating in into place so that's pretty cool and we'll just do a do a um, well there's nothing really to test because we've got nothing to trigger uh, them yet so we need to use the top image here as the trigger okay so here's here's what we do okay select the animation and then come over here and we need to select the we'll zoom in so you can have a look we need to select the event that triggers the animation let's use this little button here you click on this little guy here and then you select the, the button that you want to trigger it, which is the select image. Now the select image will play sheep. Then we simply move on to the next button. We do the same thing. Use the little thing, click it. Go to the next, next one, use the little trigger button and click select image. The top button can trigger all of these animations. It's really quite uh, simple. There you go and click and Jack Davis and the little trigger button and click. Let's just check each of them. That's got one, that's got one, that's got one, and that's got one. Good. They've all got a trigger from the select image. Now let's, it's not finished, but let's do a little test. Okay, this is just the very, very start. So they're all hidden, they haven't been animated. We click on select image and they should all roll down. It's very slow though, and they're going one after the other, okay? And then when we click this, all it does is repeat the process. It doesn't roll back up. So there's a couple little things, other things uh, that we need to learn, okay? You go away preview. Thank you. Okay, now, when we go to our select image button, okay, you can see that they're all in there and we need to figure out what the timing's going to be because at the moment they're all coming under uh, one after the other. So let's bring out the timing panel and you can see the event for on release plays all of these things. Let's link them all up together. So you simply hold your shift key down, okay, and then press the link button. That links them all together so that they'll all play at once. Of course, we can speed up the timing and the duration over here and we can make them go much faster or slower or whatever. But let's just do that for now and we'll do another preview and we'll see what difference that makes. Wow. That is a heck of a lot quicker. And boom, that is exactly what I wanted. But of course, as we said before, you could do any animation or whatever. Now, the next bit is quite tricky. All we need to, we need to do it so that they roll back up. So we need to take our select image button and we need to copy it. So I'm going to copy it and paste it. Okay, so where, where did you go, little guy? There it is there. I was going to put it on top for now. We'll reposition that in a minute. This button here, we need to tell it to reverse, that's right, reverse the animations. Okay, and we're going to, we're going to, that select two, this is select one. So you can see, there you go, select two, select one. So this one, we need to then um, give some actions. So the action will be, choose the um, pop down menu. We go to animation, okay? So there's the sheep animation and we need to say reverse. Okay, that's an option underneath there, sheep animation, reverse. And then we'll do the next thing. So animation and the next one will be slide not shape and reverse 
okay so we're, we're reversing each of these let me let, let me just go ahead so the next one was uh, not slide it will be rock it's a little bit tricky so you can see you really got to check your work as you, as you go along one little mistake here it will all uh, come unstuck so we'll go to animation again sheep hill and reverse and one more animation Jack Davis and reverse okay so that's very very good that's all we need to do in in that case now we have got just one uh, actually we'll test that we'll do, do one more test make sure that we've got it all working so we've got that should roll it out and that should reverse it ah it is reversing it but we haven't linked them on the way back have we so that's a that's a very exciting thing so the timing again go to the timing for this button and link them okay so we should be good to go now the only thing is we want these two to appear as one button so last step select this we need to add one more action to it so we say action um, which is very good and we say uh, da, 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 show hide buttons okay so this button itself we need to hide it after it's clicked so we say select one click click means hide so on release it will play the animation and hide itself okay and we also need to say uh, select two it will show the other button okay so it will hide itself and then show the other button and we need to do the reverse on this one it will be hidden until triggered so this button will be invisible until it's triggered by the first select button and then we say show hide buttons there we go and then we say when this one is clicked show select one and hide yourself so now they can overlap each other and when one is clicked one will hide and the other one will show and vice versa so let's move it into position in front of the other button this is tricky this is advanced stuff and then we'll go ahead and press the preview button rolls out rolls back so this button that appears to be a single button is in fact two buttons that is both playing and reversing the animations to make our pop down menu clever hey a little bit tricky i'm going to post this file on my blog so people can download it and um have a look at how it's done it was a little bit tricky to keep up with but that's an advanced episode of creative suite tv really hope you learned something there certainly very tricky but very very useful